In a forgotten corner of the world, deep within an ancient forest, lies a mystery waiting to be uncovered. Our hero, Alex, stumbles upon something extraordinary, hidden beneath the roots of a giant tree. A machine like no other, a key to the past and the future, a chance to travel through time itself. But time travel is no ordinary journey. It's an adventure filled with wonder, mystery, and endless possibilities. And now, you can create this incredible story. Let's get started. Before we dive into coding, let's first look at the characters and backdrops we'll need for this game. Explorer Alex is the main character of our game. He's an adventurous boy ready to explore different time periods. We need to add two costumes for Alex. Costume 1, Alex without the time machine. Costume 2, Alex holding the time machine. The time machine is the magical device Alex uses to travel through different time periods. We'll use five backdrops to represent the different stages of Alex's journey. Forest. This is where the game begins. Future, prehistoric age, Egyptian age, dinosaur age. Now let's code the part where Alex takes the time machine in the forest. Drag the one green flag clicked block from the events category onto the coding area. From the motion category, add the point in direction 90 block to make Alex face right. Still in the motion category, add the go to XY block and set the coordinates position Alex at the starting point in the forest. From the looks category, drag the switch backdrop to forest block to set the backdrop to the forest. Go back to the motion category and add the glide one second to XY block. Create a path for Alex for Reach the Time Machine and choose the glide block accordingly, like we do in the Pac-Man game. I will put the link in the description box if you want to see that also. From the Motion category, add the point in direction negative 90 block to make Alex face the time machine. Add another glide one second to XY block to create the effect of Alex grabbing the time machine. From the looks category, drag the switch costume to Alex with time machine block to change Alex's costume to the one where he is holding the time machine. Let's test it out. Oh, Alex starts in the wrong costume. Don't worry, it's an easy fix. Switch costume to Alex block immediately after the when green flag clicked block. This quick tweak ensures Alex is always ready to start his adventure fresh and properly dressed every single time you press the green flag. All right, let's test it out. Hmm, looks like we've run into another small problem. Did you notice that after Alex takes the time machine, there's still another time machine visible nearby? Not to worry, we can fix this easily with a bit of code. Here's what we'll do. After Alex glides to grab the time machine, add a broadcast disappear block from the events category. This will send a message to the time machine sprite. Now, click on the time machine sprite and add the following blocks. Use a when I receive disappear block from the events category. Follow it with a hide block from the looks category. This will make the time machine disappear once Alex picks it up. One more step. To ensure the time machine reappears at the beginning of the game, add these blocks to the time machine sprite. Use a when green flag clicked block from the events category. Follow it with a show block from the looks category. And there you have it. The time machine will now disappear after Alex grabs it and reappear correctly when the game restarts. Let's test it again to make sure everything works perfectly. All right, here's where things get really exciting. Time travel. Let's make Alex jump into different eras with just a click. Here's how we can do it. First, select the Alex sprite in Scratch. From the events category, drag the when this sprite clicked block onto the coding area. Next, go to the looks category and grab the next costume block. Attach it to the when this sprite clicked block, and that's it. Now, whenever you click on the time machine sprite, it will switch to the next backdrop. Now let's make Alex's time travel even more exciting by adding some movement when he changes backdrops. Here's the plan. First, we'll use a glide block to make Alex move into the scene, creating an entry effect. Then, after the backdrop switches, we'll add another glide block to make Alex move out, creating an exit effect. All right, let's test it out. When you click on the Alex, Alex will now glide smoothly into each new era. But to make the transition even more seamless, we're going to add a little extra magic. After Alex finishes gliding into the new scene, we'll hide him for a brief moment, wait for half a second, and then show him again. 
This creates a cool effect where Alex appears to step into the next era as if he's traveling through time. Let's try it and see how smooth the transition looks now. All right, let's test it out. When you click on the time machine, Alex will glide smoothly into each new era. But we can make this transition even more exciting by adding movement to the backdrop itself, making the scene come alive. Let's start with the dinosaur era and add a roaring dinosaur to the scene. Here's the plan. First, we'll add a dinosaur sprite to the backdrop. This dinosaur will have two costumes, one with its mouth open and another with its mouth closed. This will create a roaring animation when it switches between costumes. Next, we'll write some code to check which backdrop Alex is currently in. When Alex reaches the dinosaur era, the backdrop ID will be 4, or whichever number corresponds to the dinosaur backdrop. We'll use this ID to broadcast a message. Let's call it Dinosaur. Once the Dinosaur Sprite receives this message, it will show itself using a show block. Animate by switching costumes in a loop. We'll use a repeat 10 times block, add a next costume block, and include a wait 0.5 seconds block for the animation. Finally, to keep things clean, we'll make sure the dinosaur is hidden at the beginning of the game by adding a hide block when the green flag is clicked. After the animation finishes, we'll use another hide block at the end of the repeat block to make the dinosaur disappear. With all of this in place, the dinosaur era will feel dynamic and alive with roaring action. Let's try it out now and watch as Alex travels into a prehistoric world full of adventure. All right. Let's make the scene transitions even more engaging by adding animations to the backdrops themselves, just like we did with the dinosaur era. Animating the backdrops will bring each era to life and make Alex's adventure feel truly immersive. And there you have it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing Scratch projects. And hey, if you make your own version of the Time Traveler game, I'd love to see it. Share your creations with me in the comments below. Until next time, keep coding, stay creative, and have fun. See you in our next tutorial.